Life has been hectic. Lika was playing in the snow and I thought she had a stick in her mouth, but it was just a piece of frozen poop. But we are rolling with the punches. Oh, snow is super solid. And taking necessary precautions. Nobody was even touching the truck and it started to spark to stay ahead of the game. And Trent is so stuck, like super stuck. Subscribe and come along today as Trent tackles a very special project. What are you doing? I'm doing lunges. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't tell. <laughs> What's up, guys, and good morning. We've got a lot of things we're gonna do today. I've got some new parts for our new Starlink satellite that showed up. We're gonna be getting that installed later today and I don't think there's any snow on the roof. So it should be a little bit less treacherous than last time, but we're gonna get that installed today. Also, Allie's truck is getting a new bumper with a winch in Yay. case she gets stuck or we need to help anybody out. Yay. We're gonna be installing that. We've got a couple other odds and ends we're gonna get to, but uh, first things first, we're gonna go out, clean up the shop so we can pull the truck in and start installing this bumper. Since we started filming Trent's Garage, there is a lot of Toyota stuff and like engine parts and all kinds of things that are basically just in the way. But right now, we're gonna try and make some space so that we can pull this truck in and hopefully have enough space to get the door closed and be able to install the front bumper. It's gonna be tight. Look with your leg. It's pig, not donkey. Uh, we already talked about that? No. It's like a it's like an age-defying comment. Is it? Yeah, if you say that'll do pig, that'll do. Yeah. It means you're old. Because <laughs> if you say that'll do donkey. It's from Shrek. It's from Shrek. Right. And it's like 15 years <laughs> newer. Interesting. But to me it's always like that'll do pig, that'll yeah, do from babe. Of course. But babe was like 30 something years ago. Let me know in the comments. When you hear that phrase, that'll do, do you think pig or donkey? I'd love to know. Everything is clear? Yeah, well, we're gonna try. It's like probably a perfect little space for the truck to pull in here, so I gotta turn the truck around. Actually, do you wanna pull your truck forward, Brandon, so I can just turn around right here? I can do it. garage is too small, but I have no idea how you're supposed to get anything done. It's pulled up all the way to the end of the garage. Usually the wife never says that. <laughs> the garage is too small. I'm stuck over here. We'll see you later. Brandon and I are gonna do this bumper and you just tell us what to do step by step. If you guys couldn't tell, this is factual evidence that our <laughs> garage is too small. Uh, but basically, I think I'm gonna lift up the garage to where it's just above the bed rails and back the truck up about five or six feet and then hopefully we don't freeze to death and the heater can kind of keep it warm in here with the opening down really low. We'll try and knock out the bumper really fast. Not an inch to spare. All right. You know, at least it is in the double digits. It might only be like 11 degrees outside, but it's better than negative 11, which it was a couple days ago. This is the same bumper that we have on the TRX that I bought for this truck. Okay. And the TRX like came with like a packet of instructions, and this one seems to have not. Used. While Trent starts working on uh, figuring out how to install this bumper, I'm gonna finish up cleaning our new free garage fridge. Just got a little bit left, it's almost there. I'm just gonna try to knock it out as fast as possible. I do not wanna do this any longer than I have to. Look at that! Oh, 
This isn't going to mess up any of the parking sensors and stuff, right? That's basically all it's going to do. Trent, I'm going to be so mad. Honest. The TRX ones don't work? No. Are you serious? Yeah. We did get the bumper off. Yes, it's only held on by four bolts. It's a little <laughs> disconcerting, but that's fine. So now we are actually going to take off the intercooler scoop and then I'm going to look at the instructions and see what's next. I appreciate that you're reading instructions. different than Warner Brothers. Mm -hmm. It's not Acme brand. <laughs> you like that? I do. All the guys that actually know stuff about winches are gonna be like, what? You're putting that winch on Allie's truck? Are you insane? Why? Because it's so cool or? Yeah. Thanks. The line. Bridge is done. Yep. Nice. Time to get some Gatorade snacks in that thing. Yeah. Well, everything's been going smoothly, totally normal, and then all of a sudden nobody was even touching the truck and it started to spark. Very, very strange and a little scary. What could that have been? Were you messing with the remote when no, that I'm happened? I'm trying to use it. Look. Okay. Do it again. Let me see if I can see in there. All right, so the winch uh, has an issue. I connected the positive and the, the negative to two different battery terminals because this is a dual battery truck and one of the cables wasn't long enough. I'm gonna move this power cable to that battery so they're on the same battery. That's like the only thing I can think that is causing an issue. Everything's it was sparking when I hit the button and now nothing's happening, so. Who knows what's happening? <sighs> you gotta pull the radio fuse. Not me, you gotta pull the radio fuse. <laughs> is it the 13 or 12? This is usually the point in any project where I get a little bit nervous, especially because this is my truck, so I really would love for it nothing to go wrong. Um, but fortunately, unfortunately, I don't know, we're very used to running into issues and uh, there's always a solution. It just depends on how long it takes to find it, but I'm guessing Give them a few minutes and they're gonna figure out how to make it work. Green light isn't flashing anymore. Yeah. No, in the, the cable. kind of annoying, but I guess I've got to like try and get both wires to this battery. The silver lining is that it's a gorgeous day out here. It's like warm, 20 degrees, bright and sunny. <sighs> I feel like the past couple weeks, there's been all this snow and it's been super cold and it's just, it's been really gray. And I'm not normally super affected by that, but it has definitely taken a toll on everyone I've talked to. And it feels amazing to feel the sun on my face and just be outside and not uh, absolutely freezing. Actually, 20 degrees feels pretty warm with the sun shining. These guys um, are gonna continue working. I have faith, they'll figure it out eventually. This was also supposed to be a five minute project and we've been here for at least two hours. So we'll get there. <laughs> What's the prognosis? Oh, we fixed it. We hooked the winch up to the main battery with the one that the cables wouldn't reach in the first place. We had to route them a different way, they barely reach, and that works. Excellent. Good girl. Okay, ew, you eat poop. Get your face out of there. Lika was playing in the snow and I thought she had a stick in her mouth, but 
It was just a piece of frozen poop. So I don't let her lick my face anymore. Or is your life. <laughs> Finding Lika with the frozen poop. Ew. She's like, oh, it's okay. I like Mmm. We got the light bar installed, we got the winch fair lead installed on the bumper, we got the winch installed in the winch mount. I basically just need to slide this up on there. We gotta put these four bolts that attach those to the brackets and then tighten everything down really good. It's pretty much done. One electrical connection, pretty easy work. In those holes without scratching. How's that adjustable headrest? Feels like a lazy boy recliner compared <laughs> to not having it. <laughs> All right. What do you think? It looks awesome. A little bulky, but... No. At least we have a stair to stand on now when we're working on the truck. <laughs> Seriously. All right, well, we don't have a switch or wire for the lights, but <laughs> it's the same light we have on the other truck, so we know how cool it is, we just don't get it tested right now. Um, I'll have to order a switch and some wiring for the light. Got to order a new hook, because that is a piece of junk. And I'm hoping that the sensors all work. Let's find out. Okay. I think we're basically done. Cool. Lika is, I guess she maybe she's eating snow. Oh, is that snow or poop? Looks like she's eating poop. Lika. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the door open, get the truck out of here, return the, the garage in here to normal usable condition, and then we're gonna start working on the Starlink. I've been putting on my fake smile Even though I'm wasting time I don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just want to go my own way Well, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is I get to drive the tractor. The bad news is we were trying to get the truck out of the garage. The tractor needed to be moved and it was still such a tight fit to get in that it was like somehow even tighter to get out. And Trent has completely backed up the truck into the snow bank on the side of our driveway and is so stuck, like super stuck, which is fun because it's just our driveway. So it's like not a big deal, uh, but just a very unexpected ending to this mission. <laughs> It's a gorgeous day for some tractor riding, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Tests. The problem is we moved the tractor so that we could back the truck out and then over here underneath the tractor is like an area where I have it snow blown because the tractor was there and so as I came back I got a little bit into this like deeper stuff and I couldn't really make a sharp enough angle to get around and I got the front tire over into this and then it wanted to be stuck so like going back and forth it's like worked its way basically off the driveway. Well also even though it's only like 20 degrees or something, it's really sunny, so everything's a little soft. Which everything's are melting. Not very, ideal. Very slippery. Not ideal conditions. So we're gonna test out the winch. Cool. Well, 
Luckily we have another really heavy truck that can sit here as an anchor point or else we could actually be in trouble. From now on, this should be rather uneventful and really easy. Fingers crossed, right? Yeah, I bet. You're in there so deep. Look at that wheel. <laughs> Not gonna lie, driveway recoveries are my favorite type of recoveries. Just such low consequence and all the fun and the winch works. You're not getting stuck in your driveway. <laughs> are you really living? <laughs> That's the question. And now we have the opportunity and really the need to uh, snowblow. snowblow a little bit and clear this whole spot that is just a little too soft to drive in. Barricade yourself in there. Don't be hitting Rusty. Rusty could not be damaged any further. <laughs> Unless Rusty caught on fire, that's like the only thing that could make him worse. Isn't that wild? His rim is, instead of a white wall, it's a white rim. Yeah. <laughs> I got a new propane tank, boy. Oh, good. So we can monitor how, uh, what our levels are? Yeah. I feel like it's just been, one issue after another the past few weeks and now it feels like we're starting to turn a corner the truck is fixed ready to go nice and happy it's got the bumper on it our driveway is plowed the tractor is working great um the snowblower on the deck has been amazing the forecast is clear for the next week and sunny which is amazing and our internet <sighs> is finally functional you guys we didn't really even film it because it was so stressful but basically we have zero cell phone service we have no signal at our property if you want to like refresh a web page or send one email or like load anything you have to drive like halfway around the mountain we get nothing here um, and so we've been having lots of issues we thought we were upgrading our starlink system which is the internet provider that we use. And in the process, something happened with a new satellite and they cut off, they turned off our old internet. So the new internet didn't work and the old internet was turned off for like four or five days. It was a nightmare. It just made us very, very, very grateful for modern technology and um, really appreciate when things are working. So finally, we got a new system, a new satellite. Everything seems to be working, but it does need to be mounted permanently on the roof. All right, so you guys know that we take safety very seriously. And if you guys have followed our channel for more than a little while, you've probably heard about Surfshark. And Surfshark is the sponsor of today's video. Surfshark is a VPN, a virtual private network. It's something that protects you when you're connected to public access Wi-Fi, like at the library, a bus stop, an airport, a Starbucks. If you're connected to any of those unsecured networks, a bad guy who has access to your information can actually connect to your computer through the Wi-Fi and steal your information. They can steal your identity, they can steal passwords, bank account numbers, they can steal anything that you have access to on your computer, your phone, your laptop. So it's a really good idea to protect yourself for situations like this by using a VPN like Surfshark. So Surfshark also has some other hidden benefits which allows you to actually access other libraries on streaming services that aren't available in your area. Like say you can log in in the UK or Australia or Japan and you can watch their actual library which is different from the United States library or Canada or wherever you 
might be watching from, and you can watch different shows without paying anything extra. Right now, Surfshark is giving you guys an amazing deal. They're gonna give you three months free, so you pay nothing for three months, and 83% off when you first sign up by clicking the link in our description. So if you guys wanna take advantage of the discount, we highly recommend Surfshark, and you can get your first three months free and 83% off. And after that, it's really only a couple bucks a month. Thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video, and we're gonna get back to work. Before we get to the Starlink mounted on the internet, we are actually replacing our propane tank monitor so that we can actually see what the levels are, um, which is very important because we basically could not get propane refilled until all the snow melts. And this is our only source of heat, except for a fireplace. So we'd like to ration it as much as we can. It's crazy how it's instantly cold in the shade though. Instantly. Yeah, it's like such a warm day in the sun. Our feet are frozen. You can do it. Yeah. You can do it, Frank. He's like, is there food in here? No food in here. Wait for the night. All right, we got some good news and some bad news. The good news is the monitor is hooked up and it's working. And the bad news is our tank is at 40%. Wow, really? That's. And when I checked it like two weeks ago, yeah, it was at 59%. Wow. So we've used a quarter of the tank's capacity. It's because recently we have been heating the garage overnight because we didn't want the water lines to freeze. And I guarantee you that's what's just draining the tank. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to stop doing that? I think. Yeah, <laughs> I think we have to. <laughs> uh, we got to figure something out. Well, at least it's fixed and reading. Yeah, at least I can tell how in trouble we are now. Right. So this is our new satellite. And it just needs to be mounted on the roof because obviously it's only been here for a couple days and it's already almost fully covered by snow. Stand here while take a little time. Here we go again. Since you went away, you came to a halt. Oh boy. Silence is everywhere and you're not. This is the north side of the North Pole. <laughs> like, as you can see, these windows on the back of the house have like three feet of snow in front of them. They are like seven feet off the ground. Yeah. So our mini split back here has been dug out and is in its own little igloo. <laughs> Basically, things are crazy up here. Yeah, right. That's good. Are you kidding me? That is not good. Cool. That ladder is going to sink once you wait it and it's it's only held on one spot. Yeah, probably. Oh my god. Oh, no, it's super solid. <laughs> Trent, you are freaking me out. Doing all right. Ever seen Cliffhanger? I'm Sylvester Stallone. Is that better? No, it's not better. It's pretty good. Ooh. It's not pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good for what we got to work with. Hey, what's all that snow doing on our roof? I know, there's a lot of snow up there. I am freezing! <laughs> Holy yeah. crap! Yeah, it's really cold in the shade. <laughs> Definitely got frostbite already, so. Do you see it? Did you see it? Idiot! You didn't see it? No! Oh my <laughs> gosh, please. <laughs> Terrible throw. There's an Allen wrench that Trent needed to use to tighten this mount onto the roof, and uh, he was joking just now that it's so cold in the shade, he's already got frostbite, he's probably gonna drop all of his tools. And as soon as he finished talking, he dropped the Allen wrench and nobody knows where it landed, and there's snow it? everywhere. Yeah, I can see it, but I can't reach it. Brandon is digging behind the igloo. 
Oh, it's so close! <laughs> All I've done is remove the old satellite. So uh, Brandon went to go get a new Allen wrench. He has the piece that I need to put on. I just need to tighten all those Allen wrenches until they're nice and straight. Then I'll go grab the Starlink and stick it on the mount and screw the cables in and we'll be done. Excellent. Must be what it's like to light the torch at the Olympics. <laughs> makes like Star Trek noises too. It's a little <laughs> scary. Transformer noises? Yeah, basically. <laughs> That's cool. Oh my goodness. You're crazy. Best life. <laughs> now things are going to get sketchy. Please no. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? I'm doing lunges. <laughs> you couldn't tell. <laughs> All right. Show's over. <sighs> Thank goodness. We finally got a faster Starlink. It's uh, safely mounted on the ceiling. The cables are ran inside. The ceiling? That, that's the roof. Roof, ceiling, whatever. <laughs> it's basically the same thing. I'm about to pull out a chair and crack some lemonade, sit on the deck. It is unbelievable out here. Feels like happy hour. I could go for some happy hour. Lika's out here just living her best life. She is having happy hour all day long. Soaked. Should have put on my snowsuit. <laughs> <sighs> what a day. Well guys, the one thing that we did do was getting the bumper and the winch installed. And that is a very important thing, mostly for safety. And it's safety for Allie and for Leo. If I'm not here and Allie gets stuck in the truck and there's nobody around, like she needs a way to be able to recover herself. And we had a perfect example of that last <laughs> year with the Forerunner when Allie accidentally backed up into like the side of the road and she was stuck, much like I was in the truck in our driveway. And if she didn't have a winch, she would have been stuck with Leo. And I think she had to go to a doctor's appointment and all these different things. And I was gone. I was gone for a few hours. So. It's uh, very important for her safety and for Leo's safety that we have the bumper and the winch installed, and it looks kind of cool too. <sighs> victories. I feel like we're having some victories. I feel like we've been losing for yeah, a while, yeah. and now we're like starting to yeah. get those little victories back again. We got the Starlink mounted, so. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys, we love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Caught behind the nation blind. I to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong